Perhaps it is safe to say that, throughout the entire history of humankind, mental illness has always been there with the form of something wrong. Once someone's behavior deviated from the majority of society, he or she was labeled as mad and ultimately their life was taken away sometimes. In this documentary we will show you the history of mental illness to present day and how far we have come with our explanations. The concept of mental illness in the prehistoric time was very mythical. It was universally believed that the mental disorders were supernatural phenomena. That is really condescending. Mental disease represents a breakdown of the magical religious system and is mainly attributed to violation of a taboo, neglect of ritual obligations and demonic possessions. Shaman is a treatment used for mental illness and substances to create the increased state of excitement, partial loss of consciousness and reveals the presence of a spirit through utterances and violent actions. The method of trepanning was also used to letting the evil spirits out of the mentally ills. It has been suggested that the Stone Age cave dwellers may have treated behavior disorders with this method of trepanation. The word trepanation more specifically means an opening made by a circular saw of any type. Primitive cranial trepanning, the surgical opening of the skull performed with primitive tools and techniques is one of the most fascinating surgical practices in human history. Remarkably, it is performed yet today in parts of Africa, South America and Melanesia. Skull trepanation in early times was independently practiced in many areas of the world, with the highest concentration of activity in Peru and Bolivia. Evidence for it also is found in Europe, Asia, New Zealand, some Pacific Islands and North America. The evidence of practice nearest to Chicago is on the Rock River at Sterling, Illinois. Although the operation was performed on men, women and children, it was most often performed on adult males. Overall patients that underwent the operation had an impressive recovery rate. The three common ways of doing trepanning are scraping, drilling and cutting. Trepanning drills have smooth wooden shafts and tips of very hard material to cut into the bone as neatly as possible. Their holes were cut not by a drill but with a sharp edged flint scraper or knife. The most common of the techniques was the bow drill. The bow was made of springy wood and had a leather thong wound around the drill several times. To perform the procedure, the operator positioned the drill tip on the head and thereby made the bore through the bone. 